Hey guys, uh, back. We're back from our holiday. Unfortunately, we're already back at work, which is really disappointing. I only got away once this Christmas break, uh, which is sucks, but is what it is. Uh, anyway, we're going to try and make the most of the solar, uh, the, the summer, and try and do some more solar projects. So appreciate that we've had some more subscribers. That's awesome. Um, we'd really like to grow the channel. So if you hit the subscribe button, button you'd be helping us out. Um, but what I was hoping to do today was just for the love of God, the amount of negative comments we got. All comments are good, right? In the world of uh, YouTube, if you dislike a video, that's still engagement. The, like, the negative comments are just as good as the good comments because YouTube sees this as engagement. So for us, it doesn't hurt. Um, for DIYers, I think it's, it's like super sort of baffling to see people go backwards and forwards um, in the comment section arguing about you know what the benefits of something are why you should or shouldn't do something so this this we don't recommend anybody doing uh and it just it just blew up right like this is one of the micro inverters that we use uh on the van right um victron inverters support ac coupled solar um these things don't strictly support it but you know you, with it with a couple of extra controls you can make it work we've never recommended that anybody tries this right this is like us sharing our experience, um, hopefully opening some people's eyes about AC coupled solar, like we've got a huge wall of it. Um, the fact that, you know, it, it's potentially significantly more cost effective to install AC coupled solar sometimes than it is, uh, you know, to, to buy these and run massive cables. So we're not going to get into that today. I just feel like what I wanted to respond to was what was the benefit and why would we even try to do that in the first place? Because it was very clear to me that some of the people who were commenting didn't really care why we were trying to do it. They only cared that it's nothing they would have ever considered doing. Therefore, we're idiots. This battery bank requires a minimum of sort of, if it was at 52 volts, we'd need to hit like 56, 57 volts to charge it, right? We've got 100 volt, oh, sorry, 100 amp, but 250 volts in charger a 150 volt in 100 amp charger, 150 volt in 60 amp charger. So whatever configuration we stick on these, the solar input voltage must be higher than the battery. It's fairly straightforward. So what do you do when you're out camping and your mate's got one of those little cheap fold out solar panels, but the charger can charge off it if, it, if you're charging a 12 volt you know, battery, but if you've got a 48 volt battery like we do, or in this case 52 volts nominal, 58 volts when it's charged, what do you do with your little fold out panel? Well, you've got a couple of options. You could parallel two of them together, or, you know, that would get you through on a 28, uh, 24 volt battery, um, but in our case, we'd need to string four of them together. Now that's not feasible, right? So yeah, just reiterating what we said before, the extra electrical compliance that's required to use micro inverters, um, isn't worth it for most people. The experiment was, and that's what it was, it was an experiment. It's ridiculous, the comments we saw. This would let us charge from as low as 22 volts. That's what we, that's what we were doing, right? How would we diversify our charge source so that if somebody came along with us, um, we could charge from their power source, right? If we were in the shit. Now, our fridge in the van uses seven kilowatt hours. The battery's huge. That we, it doesn't matter that it uses seven kilowatt hours. The amount of people are like, why don't you just change the fridge? You're missing the point, guys. The battery's huge. We eventually expect to change the battery. The, the reason that we took these with us um, is that we had planned on making a video with our friend who had a 24 volt system, and we were gonna do the power sharing. Now, I've made a video previously of using our MultiPlus 2 in the van, which is now a Quattro 2, power sharing with this. Um, that was power sharing between two 52 volt nominal batteries. He had a 24 volt battery. So what we had intended to do was set up the power sharing and we were going to do a video on the power sharing. When we arrived on site, his battery was dead. And the thing is, um, unlike us, we've maintained our resilience like in the van. We have gas we can fall back to. We've got a 12 volt system we can fall back to. So we've got redundancy. He doesn't have any redundancy. He has a lack of room in his car. So he was carrying only the stuff that he needed. Now, he's made the conscious decision to cook from an induction cooktop. So when his battery was dead, that was catastrophic for him. Uh, fortunately, he was camping with us, we, we camped together regularly, and we, we can help one another out. So the reason we stuck the inverters in and made the video we made is that 
exactly the purpose we wanted the inverters for, uh, his system was too low a voltage for us to charge from. While one panel for him could charge, it's a 40 volt house panel, means that his, invert, his MPPTs could charge his 24 volt battery. For us, that single panel was no good. So we used the micro inverters to pull in his, his, uh, his solar panel at 40 volts and turn it into 240 and we charged off that. So we didn't go with a, with a battery too small or without the battery capacity, the solar panel capacity that we needed. We went with everything that we needed. Um, we anticipated if something went wrong, we might need some extra power. So we took the micro inverters with us. So the guys in Reddit, oh my God, you, you wouldn't believe the commentary in Reddit. Um, like on YouTube, engagement is engagement, happy days. But holy crap, the just the fuck the feedback you get from people is just phenomenal. Um, like zero fucks given because you know it's it's our stuff and we can do what we like with it. Um, we've put RCDs in, we've got relays and mechanisms to keep you know keep the battery safe, keep the van safe. So we're not we're not worried about it. But the amount of people who comment just completely missing the point. Like. It's an experiment to see if we can charge from low charge voltage sources, right? And and it works a treat. It's actually really good. It got us through the entire weekend without having to, you know, try and restring a bunch of panels to and, and unplug his MPPT from his system and reconfigure it for ours. Like, that's a fucking nightmare, man. We just rolled out an extension cord and, and plugged in the microinverter and we're, you know, we're off and racing. Um, so, yeah, look, I just wanted to clarify that because, yeah, I think... People just sort of seem to want to jump and criticise. They don't want to digest what you're what you're attempting to achieve. Anyway, I've, you know, I, I told the guy I'd make a response video. This is the response video, and I sort of hope it clarifies that. Yeah, like this is it's an experiment. We don't expect people to do it, and uh, and it, and this adds some versatility. And to be honest with you, I'm going to keep them. <laughs> I'm not going to stop using them. Like. We've we've gone to the effort, put the controls in place. We've programmed the we've programmed the inverter to be able to work with the relays. Um, I'm thinking we've got another 18 panels out the back. If I can find enough of these, I might I might put a string. You know, we've got one one part of the roof that doesn't get opportune sun. I'm wondering if I could put a bunch of these over there and you know see if we can during winter get it some extra charging. Um, anyway, look, I I hope that sort of helps people to understand what we were trying to do um, that yeah we're definitely not recommending anybody does this right it was an experiment it has like MPPT voltage range full power from 26 to 45 MPPT range 22 to 45 right so this will work as low as 18 like it just needs to get to 22 to start and then it'll work at 18 and there's an extra potential 500 watts it's like you know works a treat anyway hope that clears it up